Don't invest in anything that you can't understand. So beware of anything that seems too good to be true and when they can't explain to you why it isn't. By this, I'm talking about a Ponzi scheme. It's when they use new investor capital to pay off existing capital. They're not generating returns, they're just passing money on and it's a fraud. Now, it's not always easy to spot, so let me break it down for you. Now, hopefully I'm under an apple tree and I'm gonna use apples for the analogy. Imagine on day one, imagine on Monday, I go up to Adam and I say, Adam, if you give me one apple today, on Tuesday, I'll give you two apples. Great, he thinks, and he gives me his apple. Now by Tuesday, Bob comes along, he's heard about the deal and he wants in, so he gives me his apple. Well now, I've got the two apples that I need to give back to Adam, his original apple and his return. Well, he's so excited by that, he says, no, 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 he'd like to leave it invested. So by Wednesday, Clive, Colin, Claire, Chloe, you know, they all hear about the scheme and they want it. And now you can see that I have enough apples to pay Bob back for one day's worth of return and Adam back for his two days worth of return. And so the scheme continues. Now, as you see, I'm not creating any new apples. I'm just passing them on. And the risk is when there are no new apples, no new investors, or when an original investor wants to take their money out the game, take their apple out the game. So what to watch? First of all, beware of anything that's too good to be true. Either exceptionally high returns or if there are eerily consistent returns, no matter what the market conditions are. Secondly, when they don't tell you how they do it. They use vague terms, they say it's a secret a strategy of their own, or the classic term, it's too complicated for you to understand. Beware. So don't invest in anything you don't understand. Beware of anything that seems too good to be true and when no one will explain to you why it isn't.